As always, let's kick start the show with the market action of the day. The bulls have begun the trading week in top gear. Markets today consolidate at their highest level in 2019. The Nifty ended above 11,100. And the Sensex is now firmly above the 37,000 mark, with both those indices ending 1% higher. The broader markets outperformed along with the benchmarks. The mid-caps rallied over 2%, while the bank Nifty ended close to a percent in the green. Surbhi Patia is here with all the market action of the day. Surbhi, the force was... Very strong with the bulls, very clearly. What an absolutely breathtaking start to the week and it's bulls in control all the way. Serious momentum and momentum that was cutting across market capitalization. It was cutting across sectoral lines. The nifty was on steroids and the mid cap index just continued to sizzle. There's a separate party going on out there. In fact, after today's action, the nifty has gone back to levels we last saw back on the 21st of September 2018. Of course, fresh highs for 2019. That goes without saying. So where was the action coming in from? Let me quickly talk about stocks on the index as I said it's been so diverse and across sectoral lines Bharti Airtel absolutely stunning an 8% up move on the stock coming in its twin Bharti Infratel had another good day it's one of the best performing stocks on the nifty for 2019 and the gains simply kept adding up today HPCL and BPCL oil marketing companies despite the rebound in crude oil prices uh, they still find takers on the street perhaps it's a value play perhaps people getting excited about the uh, inventory gains that these companies could be sitting on Aisha Motors was another one that was something to take note of. Then the big boys club, an absolutely stunning rally on Reliance Industries. 3% higher, it took the index along with it. And then there were others, the likes of ITC, HDFC, SBI, ICICI Bank. So lots of participation coming in. In fact, the only pocket of the market that was a little subdued today was IT. So TCS, Infosys, Tech Mahindra, these were stocks that were slightly subdued. And NTPC, which has had some very good trading sessions, today finally succumbed to some profit taking. So this was the weak area. Now let me come to mid caps and here is where the josh is really very, very high. I mean, the list is so long. Stocks like Godfrey Phillips, India Cements, on the financials, there's Canfin Home, there's Ojeevan, there's Edelweiss. Um, Dilip Bilkon, a lot of the road and infrastructure players have come back with a bang. A lot of interest in these stocks once again. CG Power, where the CFO resigned, but the street believes a new man in will come with a Midas touch. That was up and about. And Tata Global, our colleagues reporting that the restructuring within the group and the consumer business being clubbed under this entity, that's underway. So that stock was up 5% as well. PSU Banks had a good day. Uh, so there was plenty of green there. In fact, if I talk about losers, there are hardly any names. Some stocks where the dividend play uh, kind of uh, moved out today. So the ex-dividend plays like REC and Nalco. And DHFL, that has its own bag of woes with more uh, rate, uh, ratings, downgrades coming in. But aside of this, it's a very strong start to the week. Now we need to see if there will be some profit taking or whether the bulls will simply keep taking control.